confident to you know to start going again without being uh, pulled in by uh, Bonin and Hincapie. So uh, definitely he you know he's on he's on he's on the winning uh, the winning road here. And you know what a ride because um, the, the US Post says they had uh, they had in their advantage when they started the chase. Oh, uh, sorry, Sean. That's one of the. Uh, th that's caused the problems for the chase group here because yes. it looks like uh, well, the official the cars. The official car has, sw has slewed off the road. Now, whether he's uh, thumped his uh, uh, sump or not, I don't know, or broken a track rod end or something. He certainly has gone into mechanical problems. We watch here now as uh, I think Ooh. off he's gone straight into the ditch. Into the deck. Oh, my goodness. So that's Boonen that's gone, isn't it? Yes. Well. It just shows you that, that these two riders riding on the limit no, to catch the Z. Or was that, oh, that Hickcabby that came in the, yeah. in the ditch? Yes, that's Bourne, I think. Yes. Oof. Yes, that's George. OK, George, don't hide in there. My goodness. And that, and that is the problem, uh, you know, in the Paris Bay, uh, you know, when you get these vehicles in front, and I have seen it on occasions, uh, when the motorbikes come down in front of you, uh, uh, once you have to come off your line, he just, uh, you know, he, he could not go across from the left-hand side to the right and uh, because of the sixth of cobbles, and, uh, you know, he just didn't get his foot out in time, and he fell over, and down he went, and you lose so much time there. And at this stage of the race, uh, it's a disaster because uh, to get moving again, it's, uh, you know, the body is tired and to get the rhythm going again you lose so much time and you really got you really get knocked out of your out of your rhythm so that shows even this could happen to the chase there could happen to museo so lady luck uh, has to take play a part in this great race but uh, in reality when it's over and sean you've come up enough times you've punctured in this race as well um, that's just the luck of the draw isn't it i mean you do all you can uh, to a train on the course know what to do follow the wheels you can but there comes a point when you know fate plays a hand like we just saw there eh? yes well uh, you know you have to have a bit of luck and that's what you're hoping for in this race just to uh, to, 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 to a bit a look on your side and uh, it's, it means so much in a Paris Roubaix because there's so much can happen and when it does happen if it happens at the wrong moment and as I said for the other uh, for the other guys you know like the Van Petit game as all of those guys if something happened at the wrong time uh, you know it just can cost you uh, it can cost you uh, you know the difference between getting into the final and not getting in in, in, in a position to win the race. And it also seems to me that that centre plot is the place to be, isn't it? Because uh, once you've seen it vary from one side to the other, apart from sliding down, as we saw there with George, there's a lot of potholes and uh, there's some uh, deep uh, uh, pools as well. Ah, we're just getting some information coming out of our headphones.